Our guest speaker for the night, rap legend, one half of the duo Run the Jewels, and he's also a very outspoken political activist in the realms of social justice, race relations, and politics. Everyone, please put your hands together, make some noise for Killer Mike. because I have all the answers. I'm here because I believe you do. I know the process that brought me here, but if I'm really true to my organizational roots, I can't organize for people without organizing with them. And you guys are the pulse of what's going on today. There are ideas and principles that you're only going to have in your youth, and I want you to exercise them now. Because what's possible from right now to the next 20 years is infinite in terms of your imagination. That what you can do for this country in the next 5, 10, 15 years is only bound by what you're willing to accept. And if you as college students don't leave this campus to interact with kids who do not look like you, who are not from your socioeconomic background, up or down, who are not from your cultural background, no matter how brown, how light, if you don't interact with people who are not like you, then we're going to stay where we are in this country. There is no way I can be pro-African American rights and not be pro-women's rights. There is no way. There is no way I can be pro-women's rights if I'm not pro-rights for, for gays and lesbians. You have to want for others what you want for yourself. And I'm talking right now to white people. You know, a lot of my white fans, a lot of my white friends, a lot of white constituency politically in terms of people I've dealt with, you guys know it's fucked up for other people. It's hard to be a black man, and this is not, hey, feel sorry for me. This is like, yo, man, I get tired of being scared of cops. It's fucking irritating. I get tired of being presumed to be angry. You know, I have every right to be, but I'm fighting daily not to be. I want to keep my rights. And if making sure that you have yours ensures that I have mine, then that's something I'm willing to fight. And the minute you decide that I'm a full human being, and I don't have to become my political advocacy everywhere I go, you learn to be open to interactions with other human beings who are not like you. I have learned the most from my relationships with people that were not like me. I don't think this country can be what it's supposed to be until you see Occupy Wall Street, Black Lives Matter, and other coalitions fighting at the exact same time at the exact same place because they're fighting the exact same oppressors. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's no bullshit. Make sure post this talk we're communicating and then organizing with people who don't look like us. Make sure we're organizing with people who are not from our religious background, and make sure we're having social discussions with people who don't agree with us. Enough is enough. You don't have to wait for change. Hope ain't shit without work. Prayer without action is in vain. Take your ass out in the streets, campaign for whoever you want to campaign for, and no matter who wins this next election, demand more. So for me, if you're going to be a part of a culture and advocate for that culture, then beyond rapping and rhyming words, be an advocate for the culture culture. Be an advocate for the Be an advocate for these things that oppress that culture and those people, and I think you'll find yourself a friend to the culture, and the culture will always be a friend to you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody, thank you so much for coming out. Let's everyone give it up for Mike.